Start recording. Stop recording button. Hello guys. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Origami Ninja. So, um yeah. So you can see this figure. Uh back button. Stop recording. Camera chooser. Back facing. Camera chooser. Back facing. Camera chooser. Front facing. Speech off. Look at this figure. Sorry. Um, it's the... It's Roger's version of the foot soldier. Literally. So. Speech off. Stop record. Camera chooser. Back facing. But speech off. I don't have anything to prop this uh, camera against. So... We're just gonna have to review it. Just, and hopefully you can understand it. So, here's our articulation. Uh, there's an articulation point at the head. The head is easily removable. Just wanting you know that. It's very, it snaps on, it, it stays on good, but it's just, it's very easily, it can be removed. By the way, the figure comes in the same blister club packaging, packaging that every other figure comes in. With the pitch points thing, obviously. The rest of the articulation includes articulation of the shoulders, which that's three points. Articulation at the elbow, which that's five points, since there are two elbows. And then there's articulation not at the wrist, but above the wrist, okay? So it's like, it's kind of above, so that's seven points. So then there's articulation at the torso. Uh, um, what I mean is, the torso is like on a joint that allows it to turn the upper body, kind of turns, then there's articulation at the leg, and that's about it. I know, very limited, right? I wish I had the 2012 foot soldier, but I don't. The 2014 and 2016 foot soldiers looked like they were pretty articulatable. Pretty possible. So this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 points of articulation, and that's it. Just 10 points. And my feelings about it? Well, it's origami, so what do you expect? They literally make it, there's like two versions of the origami ninja. There's one where the toes are more spread apart. Ugh. <sighs> And then there's one where the toes are more put together. I guess there are like two toes on this thing, right? They're not real humans, are they? <clears throat> well, I guess that's what you get whenever you get origami ninjas. For accessories, this character includes four of them. Now, if one of the ninja stars will get out of here. The stars are like origami, uh, like little origami pieces. There's three of them. And then he uses, uh, I don't know what it's called, some sort of stickle weapon with blades. <laughs> they ought to call this the bladed sickle with flames. I don't know, it just feels like it. It can go in either one of his hands, literally. I don't think he can do a 200 pose. Yeah. Whatever. So anyway, yeah, that's my review. I know you can't see it. I know you can't. So I'm gonna have to try to prop the camera up somehow. By the way, the arm, the, um, 
elbow articulation is kind of loose on the right arm. It's not so bad on the left, but it's loose on the right. Forgot to mention that. But anyways. See you later.